Hello everyone, Santa Duck 2 and welcome to another Twitch installation tutorial. This time I'm going to be doing it in 115, but it should work for 114 as well. Now, what you're going to want to do is get access to the vanilla launcher. So just get the downloader, and I've just got these steps so you can kind of get an idea as well of what I'm going to be basing this on. So I'll also have this in the description as well if you want, if the video is kind of hard to follow and you just want to follow the steps. So, just get a download installer. If you haven't already installed this for the launcher, if you have, definitely skip this part. So, you get the installer like so. Just click install for whichever version you want, and you're good to go. From there, once you've already done that, just go to your vanilla installation uh, in your .minecraft folder. And if you check in your versions folder, you should see a 114 or 115 version, as well as these two folders here, .minecraft and .mix and .out, after you've probably already loaded up the game and it can create these folders. I'm pretty sure that only happens after you've loaded the game by doing that, similar to how when it loads configs and other certain things. So keep that in mind. Now, these two folders, as well as the version of Fabric that it's created, that I just showed before, are very important with this Twitch installation process. So, if you're familiar with combat snapshots that you just get from Reddit, download, put into your versions folder here, and then you just notice, oh, okay, there's a combat snapshot or so, or your Forge installations you've done prior, it's pretty much just similar to that. Just look at those, copy it across, and then go to your Twitch setup, go to install, go to versions, and then just paste it in, which I've already done that with a few for snapshots and otherwise, as you can see here. So again, pretty much similar to the combat snapshots, just paste something in, except obviously with the fact that we've already installed it, it's just a bit of extra steps. So, yeah. Now. With the .mix and .out folder and the .fabric folder, you want to copy these and then put them in your either your install folder, like so, which is just all your sort of external stuff, or similar to a .minecraft, or if you want to go to the specific profile, you can, and just go to 115 test, and paste them in here, which is more similar to a .minecraft with the configs, mods, resource packs and saves that you commonly be using, um, or similar to MultiMC with its sort of approach of certain things that it creates of these already, and obviously ignoring the versions folder, it's got its crash reports, configs, saves, screenshots, blah blah blah, get the idea. So once you've already done that, after creating a Fabric 115 test, which I'll just demonstrate now, if you haven't done it already, just go to the version you want, ignore Forge altogether because you don't need it, name it whatever you want, and you're good to go. I've already obviously done that. And from there, get your mods, search up whatever you want, or if it doesn't end up doing that, just copy some across from your 115 fabric installation that you already did, in the launcher, and then hit play and it should be fine. Now, upon seeing the launcher, it may or may not already start with the latest version. You just want to create another installation for it, if it hasn't already shown this up. And then just go create, just name it, and then select the version here. Again, similar to the combat tests or other forge setups you already have here. Create that, and then it should create it, and you should be able to select it from the menu here, click play and it should be fine. Again, obviously just follow the instructions here if it was a bit hard to follow in the video. You just want to install Fabric for Vanilla through its inst installer, load up the game so it can generate these two folders and its specific files, copy these two folders into the install folder, then check your Fabric loader that you already did back in step one. 
and copy that across. S similar to obviously thinking of the combat snapshots when you put stuff across to the vanilla launcher. Download or manually carry across your mods. Press the play button for the launcher to get it working after you've already selected the fabric profile and then from there you've already got the launcher set up and we've got our mods in here. Now mod menu obviously is your mod options button that Forge typically has but fabric doesn't add one by default so you'll need that. If you wanted to use it you don't have to and then REI is just your NEI JEI for fabric. Now, the steps will be in the description if you want, and don't want to follow it through the video every so often to whichever part I end up showing this, like now, and otherwise all other links such as Fabric API, which is also sometimes important for some mods, mod menu, and REI or voxel map or something else to get you started will also be in the description as well. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.